Dandavat pranams to all. Vishakha here, checking in with our friends and family across the world. I haven't posted anything for a while on social media. I'm in Ojai, California right now. I've been in the U.S. for the last few months throughout California. I was in Arizona, Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, now I'm back in California again, and I'll be heading back to Europe soon in about eight days or something, first to London, then to Hungary um, for a few months. And this morning in our Q&A Zoom meeting, we had a question about faith the nature of faith. And I happened to come across this beautiful quote of Srila Sridhar today. It's in um, Loving Search for the Lost Servant, I believe. And he's speaking about the nature of faith. And, and you know, there are different ways in which we can appreciate what is faith, you know. But this is one really beautiful explanation that Srila Sridhar says, where he says it means good hope in the infinite, right? To have faith hope about the presence of the infinite right it's like living in a in a world of infinite possibility and you know one way in which i was reflecting on the significance of this point is how how much we face disappointment in our lives you know as conditioned souls <laughs> you know disappointment in others who we depend on disappointment in particular circumstances that we face, which we didn't want to face. And then there's also perhaps the most painful is disappointment in ourselves, right? And, you know, and that we can't live up to our ideals or our principles in various ways. But this is the nature of faith, right? That, you know, we're always seeing that background of the infinite and we're always seeing beautiful possibility behind everything. We're not living in the limited world of our own capacity, our own degree of perception and insight, but we're remembering there's an unknown, beautiful infinite behind everything, every circumstance and everything that we face and come across on our path. So it's a very hopeful, very optimistic way to live, right? And this is something our Guru Dave and Param Guru Dave Shila Shudamaraj have discussed. You know, Shila Shudamaraj he he says, you know, to be theistic, to believe in God means to be means to be hopeful, means to be optimistic. And pessimism is atheistic, right? Our Guru Dave also always expressed this this um, unfailing optimism, and, and he would say, always I am hopeful. You know, I'm always seeing Guru Maharaj's presence, you know, Krishna's will behind everything. And always I am hopeful. And he also expressed, you know, I'm, we, you know, in this world, we're always between hopelessness and hopefulness. And hopelessness comes when we're disconnecting from the transcendental current. Hopefulness comes when we're aligning ourselves with that current. So... To be faithful means to be optimistic, you know, to see in every circumstance the infinite and beautiful possibility. And I, I wanted to share this um, this quote of our Param Guru Maharaj. Um, he's quoting this really wonderful verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. Vaikuntha means without limitation. That is, it is as if we are in a boat floating on the infinite ocean. Many things may come to help or hinder us, but only our optimistic good faith may be our guide, our Guru Dev. The guide is Sri Guru. And this is this verse. Nirdeham adhyam sulabham sudorlabham plavam sukalpam guru karnadadam mayanakul yenanabhasvateritam in the infinite ocean, we have boarded our small boat, the human form of life, and our destination is uncertain and inconceivable. But it is conceivable to our Guru Dev. Our Guru is, the, our, is our guide, the captain of the boat. And we must progress with sincere faith. We are trying to cross a horrible ocean with huge waves and dangerous sharks and whales swallowing whales. It is full of danger. The guidance of saints is our only hope. We must depend on them. 
They stand like lighthouses in the infinite ocean. I mean, what a beautiful analogy. You know, the saints, our gurus, our guides, they're standing bright like lighthouses of faith, you know, illuminating our way forward. They stand like lighthouses in the infinite ocean to guide us to the land of faith. Faith means hope in the infinite. Vaikuntha means infinite. And Shraddha means good faith. Just as there is a place called the Cape of Good Hope, Shraddha means surcharged with good hope in the infinite. Vaikuntha is infinite. And if we wish to draw the attention of the infinite, the only way open to us is Shraddha. By Shraddha alone, we can attract the infinite. And when Shraddha develops a definite form after progressing through Bhav, ecstatic emotion, Shraddha becomes Prema, divine love. Columbus set sail and after a long voyage, finally arrived in America. He reached the land of good hope. In the same way, with hope, Shraddha, faith, we may, after crossing by Kunta, arrive in the highest plane of the spiritual cosmos. Shraddha is our light in the darkness. Good hope in the infinite. How beautiful. Shraddha means surcharged with good hope in the infinite. What a, what a beautiful meditation. <laughs> My dandavat pranams to all. Hope you're all well as can be. Jai Shri Gurudev. My gratitude for everyone's love, affection, friendship on this challenging path that we face. <laughs> Jai Shri Gurudev.